Hey Virgo, welcome back to my channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, welcome. Please do it like, share, and subscribe. I greatly appreciate that. So today we're going to take a look here at the blood moon. Okay, lunar eclipse that's happening on May 16th. And this message is going to run through until the next lunar eclipse, which will be in September. So May through September 22nd. The message here of the full moon in Scorpio, it's time to release negativity. So Virgo, I feel with this blood moon, um, what's coming up for you here is a time for you to release. Okay, you're reaching the end of a chapter in your life here, Virgo, and it's time for you to embrace whatever the universe is bringing next to you. Um, and you're also being asked that even if the changes here feel unexpected, trust that the universe has your best interest at heart. Because I feel like when this cycle begins, this lunar eclipse, things may feel uncertain right now in your life. But know that in due time, things will make sense to you of why this is occurring, why these, this new chapter, uh, there's a new start, a new beginning with this blood moon. Okay, um, so we're going to take a look at things that you need to release, the negativity, what they may be, and then we're going to take a look to see what, um, what to embrace, what new energy is coming towards you. Okay, so I just want to pull a few cards, moonology cards here to see what other messages there might be added onto this full moon eclipse in Scorpio. Okay. What other messages here does Virgo need to know? Okay. A fiery climax is going to be approaching. Okay. So hmm, Virgo, <laughs> got some stuff going on here. Full moon and Aries energy. So I feel like from May through September will be a lot of releasing, a lot of releasing, okay? Um, the next full moon uh, lunar eclipse or eclipse in itself will be in September. And that's when I feel like this fiery climax, a new beginning is going to happen um, in September. But so I feel like a lot of this time period here is going to be you releasing, letting go, cutting the cord, cutting strings, things like that from your past or whatever. Okay. Whatever um, you've been holding on to and whatever it is that you need to let go of. There is a new romantic cycle um, that will also be coming upon you during this May through September period. Okay. So let's get into your reading. Remember, do hit the like, subscribe button if you're new. Go ahead and do that right now. And let's see, what does Virgo need to release? What negativity, what does Virgo need to let go of during this time period from May through September 2022? Okay, Page of Cups here. Um, some of you might be getting an apology. Somebody could be reaching out and apologizing to something. Uh, to you about something um, and I feel like let it go okay when you get the apology just forgive and move on forgive and forget and and that doesn't mean allow something to continue if that's not something you feel is good for you um, for some it might but releasing in some way for some of you means letting go forgive forget the indiscretion and then move forward in whatever way you need to move forward. This is about negativity. Okay. So if you have, um, a resentment or if you feel like something somebody did or said or didn't do or didn't say is something you're still holding on to, um, even if you don't get an apology, this means for you to just let go of that resentment because that's like a cancer to the soul that will keep you from being able to release that negativity and move forward in your life. Okay. So for some, you could be getting an apology, um, from someone. It could be in regards to a child or a relationship or a friendship or uh, something under the love umbrella. Okay. Um, release it, let it go. Okay. What else does Virgo need to know here? Okay. To get the King of Pentacles. Okay. Some of you need to let go of an earth sign or someone 
who fits the description of the King of Pentacles, whether it's Taurus or Virgo or Capricorn. Um, for some, it could be you need to forgive yourself for something. Um, so this description of this earth sign, of course, you would probably understand um, this person comes in as someone who is quite reserved in their emotions. They don't really say much. They're, they're more, maybe more physical, more physically active. Um, they have more physical senses. Um, so kind of someone who could be like, um, they're all business, all work and no play. Okay. Um, if that's you, forgive yourself. I guess maybe it's time for you to like, you know, um, <clears throat> get out of mark, work mode and just go and enjoy yourself, uh, spend more time having fun. But for a lot of you, this is letting go of some type of negativity that may have come from an earth sign. And the earth sign could be their sun, moon, rising, or Venus. Okay. What else does Virgo need to let go of? Oh, okay. Something unexpected might have happened and shattered your world in some way. Um, the tower, okay? This is not something that you in your past saw coming. This is an unwanted change or ruin. Um, you might have felt like you were disgraced or someone, there could have been violence involved or someone just a person, place, or thing. There was some upheaval. You're, you're, for some of you, like your world came crashing down um, in some way. There could have been an accident or something that might have happened that, man, that was, it feels like it was pretty devastating for some of you. I don't know exactly what it was, but whatever it was, it was a very negative event. It was an event that was very negative and it's over. It's done. Okay. Um, this is not a prediction of what's to come. This situation has already occurred. This could have been something that happened five minutes ago, all the way back to when you were a child, whichever it might have been. This is letting this negativity go. And I feel, um, if you've been carrying around some anger or some resentment or something, um, in your life, whatever it might have been. Uh, whether it was a person, place, or a thing that happened. Um, I feel like uh, l let go of this situation. In other words, don't let it ruin or dictate or rule your life going forward. Okay, whatever it was here. Let me see what else does Virgo need to let go of. Okay. Hmm. So this message here coming through, Virgo, it feels like Accept the fact that you gave your best and let go at this point. Accept the fact that you contributed. You tried to be as hospitable as you could. You, you tried to be as giving as you could to a person, place, or a thing. Um, if you didn't receive anything in return or you didn't, or if you gave more than you received, let it go. Okay, um, if there was a negative reaction or a negative feeling in regards to that, um, this feels more like, you know, people say, well, how can I let go of a, a certain thing? Like, how, how do I stop this thing from, it? well, you have to accept, you know, you go through a grieving process, of course, but always at the end of the grief process is acceptance where we finally come to a place where we're saying, okay, I accept that this is once you accept it, accept it doesn't mean agreeing with it, accept it, accepting just means this is the reality of the situation, okay? And I have to accept that this is the reality of the situation, not my hopes, not my wishes, not my fears, the reality of the situation here. Um, and I feel like for the reality for a lot of you is that you, um, you were very much giving and um, some of you may have been giving to get, um, which, you know, it might have, maybe it was more transactional um, or someone was doing that to you where somebody was uh, giving to you and only in order to receive, they weren't giving out of their heart um, because 
love is never transactional. So there's something here about um, needing to accept that you gave the best you could. You could any more that you would have given. It, it, it's like overwatering your flowers, you know, I mean, your flowers only need a certain amount of water each day, you know, um, some of you might have just gave more and kept watering, 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 and just, you know, you, you, you drowned yourselves in your giving, okay, and giving is always good, I, I always think it's good to give, but I think over giving winds up draining and drowning you to the point where you have nothing left, all right, so there's something here, the negativity that you're carrying around um, that you need to let go of is it, not even let go, but to accept that you gave your very best and there's nothing more that you can do. There's nothing more that you can do. And you, you kind of have to look and say, you know, I gave it my best shot. And I, I'm okay with that because I, I lived in my truth. I did my very best and I, I didn't get what I was hoping to get in return. It wasn't reciprocated and I can let that go, okay? Knowing, walk away with integrity, whatever your situation is, knowing that I put all my effort in. I mean, there's not anything more that I could have done and, and you know what, it's okay. It's okay. Um, if somebody can't return that in, you know, because they want to, then, you know, I, I still have more love to give and somebody else will accept and will receive that and also give in return. So this is um, letting go of the negativity in the sense of like whatever you're still holding on to, if there's bitterness or if you feel jaded, let it go. Accept except except what else does Virgo need to know here okay hmm some of you need to and and so like even in a love relationship um the three of cups you know as I said it always comes down to me even though it's a card of support and a circle of support friendship and celebrations um this could have something to do with some friends, a friend situation or a dating. Um, somebody might have been dating and not giving commitment, okay? Maybe dating others. Um, and that may have left a negative feeling it within you that somebody was um, continuing to date others while connecting with you. Um, that may have caused uh, a feeling of... Mm, not feeling um, good enough for somebody in that way, okay? Um, forgive yourself or let go if, if you put all your energy into someone and you missed out on your friends, your relationships, or you lost some friends, or if you um, didn't, didn't pick up and know when it was time to be done with something and get yourself back out there, okay? Um, you may have had some friends who were um, just treating you very casually, okay? Um, and that might have left a stain on your heart as well. And if that's the case, friends, siblings, family members, um, people in your life maybe not taking you seriously, um, and that left a negative imprint on your heart, um, it's time to release that negativity, okay? Let me see what else you have here. Okay, all right, so the Five of Pentacles. Um, some of somebody here may have done a lot of excess spending and wound up breaking the bank okay um it's going to be time for you to replenish that so accept this is all about accepting where you are at this time in your life okay also as far as love goes abandonment it could, there could be a, a sense of feeling left out in the cold okay um or feeling isolated or worried about something. Um, these things I feel like are still plaguing you in a lot of ways. And the message here, of course, this is a negative feeling. These are negative feelings. So th this is a message here of releasing those things. It all comes down to letting go, okay? 
so that this new blood moon cycle can come in. And now as I'm making this reading up until from this point until June 2nd, um, Mercury retrograde. So there are a lot of things that are just going to come up out of the waters and glare at you and demand to be acknowledged. Okay, so there may be some things during the Mercury retrograde that you're going to become aware of. And they could be some negative things that you may not want to face or deal with. And I feel like when those things begin to rear their ugly head, um, it's a message to you to acknowledge those things and then um, put them to rest once and for all so you can have a new start in your life. Okay, what else do you, what else negativity does Virgo need to let go of here? Okay. Hmm. Some of you did a lot of initiating in a relationship with someone and you weren't receiving anything in return. And you were the one who was constantly reaching out, constantly initiating, um, always trying to have a new start or um, for seeking clarity from someone and I don't feel like you were getting it or I don't feel like you received that. Um, and again, forgive yourself for being the one to push something without having anyone or a particular person or just whatever in your life not getting the reciprocity that you felt you like I call I like to call it return of on investment um, whatever you weren't getting in return some of you just said okay I just need to push harder or I need to instigate or I need to initiate more um, I feel like it's time Virgo here starting with this blood moon to release to just look at your people places and things and just say have at it whatever you got to do just go ahead and do I am moving on and I feel like a lot of you or somebody here in particular needs to um, get clear about that with themselves get that clarity here okay um, but let's get into the more positive aspect of things let's take a look to see when this new romantic cycle approaches or this new beginning comes here in September, what new things, um, what fiery con uh, climax, what you're going to be opening yourself up to in your life. You know, Aries energy is new beginnings, always. Aries energy is the cardinal energy. Um, it's exploration. It's um, starting over. It's inspiration, having new urges, and that fiery fiery climax, things um, blowing up, and then having like this brand new. Uh, it's like a, I'm, I, I see like in the old cartoons, like a dynamite stick. <laughs> you know, something good, something new. What's coming towards Virgo after this um, time period? Even though there's uncertainty, and like I said in the beginning, you may feel, you know, kind of like, oh, this is really hard, letting go. You know, change, even change for the better can be difficult for some, you know, because even if it's change for the better, it's ask, you're being asked to adapt to a whole new either lifestyle or a new regimen or something new, okay? <clears throat> but... The eclipse, when we embrace and we harness the energy of the eclipse, this harnessing of this energy can bring you closer to what was always meant for you, okay? Rather than holding on to things that are not meant for you. So what is coming in here for Virgo that is meant for Virgo? What is this new fiery approach, a new romantic cycle? What is coming in for Virgo? And I feel like um, this energy will be in September, the end of September is when I feel like it'll be coming in when um, we have that new moon in Libra. So let's see what's coming in for Virgo. Okay, so a lot of you are going to have some beautiful ideas. Um, 
Hmm. There, for some, it could be a new job. There would be um, good, positive money news coming in for you. Um, some ideas. Uh, so because I feel like you're 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 clearing out the clutter during this time period. You're you're really going to make progress clearing out clutter in your mind, in your soul, in your heart with this this uh, this eclipse that's happening. And what will spur you for the next what May, June, July, August, September, the next four months? Okay. Um, so it's once that clutter gets cleared, now you'll be more open-minded and new ideas will begin to flow. And this feels mostly like what you're going to do with your money <laughs> or um, receiving uh, good positive money news. So on the money front, that looks really good for you. Let's see what else. Oh, look at this. Eight of Cups. That's beautiful. So this is a journey of some sort. Okay, um, I feel like September, um, you're actually going to be, and I'm hearing the word done with this cycle. I'm hearing retreating, fully being fully ready to retreat um, because the process of letting go is going to take time and making these changes is going to take time. September to me feels like you're going to be completely abandoning all of the past and really beginning this new journey here. Um, this journey of discovering your emotions going after that Ace of Cups, which is, you know, new for some, a new relationship. Uh, there could be marriage or proposal for some of you, a new baby, anything that would have a key emotional development in your life. New blessings is what I feel. New emotional, um, it's, uh, I'm hearing like um, a washing, a cleanse, you know, uh, cleansed. You will be cleansed. It's amazing. It's amazing. Let's see what else? Oh, wow. You've got the Nine of Pentacles. Wow. There's something coming up for you as well. In September, where, I, you know, you guys have heard me do my songs. So fresh and so clean. Looking, looking, feeling, uh, sparkly, crystal clean. Um, look. It's not, not the, it can be partially the aesthetic. So you might be working on your health um, as far as like your physical health and September's, you're going to be like, bam, like, wow, reaching some goals. Okay. September is going to be like, bam, I, that's what I'm feeling. Look, uh, it just, and it feels very aesthetic because the pentacles do represent the physical. So there's something here in September where, I mean, status improvement in your status um financial status it could be your physical status it could even have something to do with your financial gains uh luxury your solo pleasures i mean it's like a brand new you virgo <laughs> and i know some of you have been doing the work you've been working on things and and trying to reach goals like you cross some type of a threshold in september you by by the time September comes, if you you're working through all this energy, you're not even going to be recognizable to people. Um, such an upgrade! Um, like it, this is a big fat Beyonce upgrade. Like such an upgrade in your life with all the work that you're putting in, and, and if you if you do utilize and harness the energies of this blood moon, all the all the work and effort you're putting in, if you are persistent through the next four months, and you really really keep at it major change happening here for you major okay look at you sitting here with this queen of wands energy um bold charismatic um confident feeling self-assured charming as f courageous in ways you've never been before you know top of the line top of the heat male or female energy is like i'm saying whatever changes you're making in yourself you're going to be noticed because queen of wands has that very popular energy. You're, you're, you'll definitely be getting noticed for the changes, not just on the external, but the in, the internal. Um, some of you are, are working on your introversion and are going to become more extroverted, um, getting yourselves more out there 
right? It, there's definitely, I see some type of popularity or uh, just, I just get a sense like when, when you see your people, whoever your people are, your soul tribe or people that maybe you, um, I feel like a lot of you are going down under and you're, you're, you're take, you're building in private. You're doing things for yourself with this blood moon, releasing, letting go and letting this positive energy come in. Um, and then when you come back out, you know, it's like you're going in for a cleanse. And when you come back out, I feel like you're not telling anybody what you're doing. And I feel like people are just going to, it's going to look like a, a, a night and day transformation, you know, a major transformation. Let me see what else is going on here. This brand new beginning. Wow. You've got the Ace of Wands. <laughs> new inspiration. See, I just feel like you're cutting some dead weight these next four months, cutting all that dead weight. You've got new projects will be coming to you, um, new creations. Um, you're, you will be very highly inspired and tremendously attractive. Your energy, um, not just the physical, but who you are, who you're becoming, the changes that you're, the things that you're starting to do today, Obviously, it takes time, but it takes time before you get that whoosh. It takes time before, um, you know, for these changes to happen. But when they do, you may not even be noticing. Other people are going to be noticing. Okay, September is going to be like, I just keep hearing bam, like a big bam. Wow, you've got six of wands now. Victory, success. Look at you. I mean, Virgo, I mean, cutting that dead weight, you know, if you've got like a, you have a balloon, you know, those balloons that people ride in, you know, in order for that balloon to take off, we got to snip those sandbags, you know, cutting that dead weight. A lot of you still have some dead weight hanging around. Um, I just, I keep feeling like, I believe I can fly. Who is that? R. Kelly. I know he's not the like most popular guy in the world right now, but um, that song, I feel like that's your theme song. Uh, I feel like you should go listen to that song, you know, that because it's your belief, like I can do this, I can do this. Getting rid of this dead weight that you've been carrying around for so long, you know, and that's the, that's the negativity, that's the dead weight of, um, resentment or the dead weight of um, bitterness or feeling jaded or feeling abandoned or, or things like that. This is like getting coming back to self. A lot of you, if you've gone through some kind of a breakup or something and taking this time in your life to really refocus, redirect your energy towards self and, and letting go of all that past junk that's just hanging off you, like a barnacle, cutting the barnacles off the bottom of the, your souls, your ship, you know, getting rid of all this energy here, this six of wands, this is victory. This is recognition. This is good news. This is success. This is what's coming to you. Okay. And look at this. You've got the ace of cups. So there's a, this is shiny clean, getting that wash. Remember I said, you know, you're scrubbing yourself and look what comes up. The ace of cups. This is um, rejuvenation here. So Virgo, I mean, harness the energy, harness the energy of this blood moon during this time. If you need to just disconnect from the world um, and, and just, you know, if people are trying to, you know, really connect with you, I know some of you have already started this journey and the blood moon is, you know, blood is life energy, okay? Some of the blood, your blood needs to be cleansed, <laughs> needs that, you know, you need new blood in your life here, okay? Um, it's interesting. Now, they're just giving me the word, uh, oh, what's it called? The clear, it starts with an S, the clear portion of blood. Like, um, oh, what the heck's it it's called? I can't forget. I can't remember what it's called. I used to know it. I, I'm just having a mind block, but it starts with an S. It's it's that that cleansing, that clear fluid of the blood. You know, um, what the heck was it called? I don't know why they're giving that to me, but I feel like the, 
that significant for some reason. Let me see if I can try to connect. Oh, wait, is it not with an S? Is it plasma? Something here to do with plasma, they're telling me? The clear part of the blood. I don't know why that's significant or what that even means, what plasma means. Uh, uh, maybe some of you do and you, you can you can post something here about it. Uh, if, why the plasma is more significant than the red blood cells, I guess. There's something here to do with a cleanse, a cleanse and a new, a brand new beginning happening in your life here with this Ace of Cups, blessings. It, you know, I know a lot of you, you know, oh, look at this, the balance, the infinity. Um, you're going to have choices now. Um, you're in September. I feel like this is a balancing. You, you'll feel more balanced. Okay. Um, Virgo, I feel like you're going to be in a position where you may have felt like you weren't able to make decisions about things in your past. Um, other people may have dictated things to you or uh, you're, you're going to have this thing like, wow, I'm in such a great position now that I can choose what I want. Okay. So you may not have felt like you could have made the choices that you wanted to make in the past because for whatever very various reasons, it could have something to do with self-esteem or a connection that you were involved in or certain family members or friends or expectations or just your environment. I see you in September being able, you know, when, when people are, when people are not in a place of need, they're able to make wiser choices. They're able to make good choices. It's hard to make a good decision for self when you're in a position of need. I don't see you being in a position of need by the time September rolls around. I feel like you're going to be in a position of now it's just a matter of which one do I want, not what do I need, right? So you're, you'll already have that wealth, health, and abundance behind you. So you'll be able to choose, all right? So I feel... This blood moon energy is very, very significant with this full moon eclipse and it's in Scorpio. So that means that whatever is dark, whatever is deep down in the recesses, you know, Scorpio is ruled by Mars, which is planet of action, but it's also ruled by Pluto, which is things that are hidden in the, you know, this is Hades energy, um, the underground, the underneath this stuff, especially with the help of the Mercury retrograde, will begin to come up and your light bulbs are going to be popping left and right in your head. Like, wow, I've been carrying around this thing and I don't need to carry this around. Like it's going to come up and it's just going to smack you in the face and, 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 and really just be like, hey, by the way, you got to let go of this. Here, just accept. Just accept it. This is how it is. It doesn't mean you have to agree. It doesn't mean you have to disagree. You're just looking at it. Um, the same as you would just look at one of these stars and say, you know, I accept that this is a star and it, this is just what it is. It's just a star. Um, whether I agree with it should have five points or six or four, it's irrelevant. I'm accepting that this is just a star. It is what it is. And then once you accept something, you can let it go. Okay. And then move on, clear out all that energy and then move on to a bigger and brighter future. Okay. Um, this is with the moon. A full moon in Scorpio, it's transformative energy. It's powerful. It's penetrative and it's raw. Okay. Um, it's just, and I, I feel, I think that I saw that this lunar eclipse does form a conjunction with the south node. So this is a, a thing that will occur, a phenomenon where you will find yourself letting go of something that's holding you back from true success. And that's what this is. And for some of you, I know you can't even fathom what that true success is or what that looks like. Um, it's okay. Don't quit. Don't give up before the miracle happens because it's coming to you. Now, I just want to give you um, specifically for you Virgos, 
Um, the question you need to ask yourself during this time period, if this helps, where do you plan or where would you like to go next? Where do you see yourself? And who or what are you bringing along for the ride? That's crucial because, you know, if you want to go it alone, like a, a lone cowboy or cowgirl, that's up to you. But um, you may be asking yourself, okay, who's coming with me on this journey? Who is in my soul tribe that, you know, I, I feel I can trust and has my back and is supportive of me? That's why you had that three of cups there, okay? Some of those people, you're out. Others, I don't have any negativity with them, okay? You remember you're the captain of this ship that carries your life's cargo, okay? It's your job to be responsible for your plans, ideas, and actions or inaction that precede them. If you're seeking in your life to move up in some way, you may need to seek an advisor with wisdom and knowledge that can help you move out of what feels like a stagnant period or was a stagnant period in, in your life. So an advisor, a spiritual advisor, counseling, um, group support, um, other like-minded souls or people, people should, come, when people come into your life, they, they, they need to be coming in that are bringing benefit, okay, to you right? It's not a narcissistic thing. It's just that Virgo, you, when you go into people's lives, you try to bring a benefit to them in some way, correct? Um, you don't ever want to feel like you're going to leave someone with negativity with like a bad taste in their mouth. And you don't want people that, to do that either. So you got to take a look at your soul trap and see are, who's bringing benefit to your life and who is not. And the people that are not, um, bye-bye. Okay. Um, listen to any wisdom that's being offered to you because this wisdom during this time period is going to make all the difference in your letting go and you're recreating, regenerating. Okay. This is like regeneration. This is um, rejuvenation. This is a cleanse period. So take advantage of this time period because I feel like for you, um, it's just a question of what do you value and what do you want for yourself? And doing all that work, September, you're going to be pretty amazed with the results of whatever you're putting your effort and energy into. All right, Virgo, so I'm going to leave that there for you. I hope you enjoyed that and I will be back tomorrow. Go over to my community section because I've posted my schedule of what my schedule is going to look like from May through September of 2022. So that you'll know, and I'll, I'm going to do my very best to stick with that schedule. <laughs> it is summertime, so, you know, I am going to be hitting the pool and going on some adventures, but I will do my best to be here for you guys. All right, um, and if you want to get personal reading, there's a link in the description box below. Definitely check that out, and I love you all. Congratulations. <laughs> I will see you soon. Bye.